Okay, let's see how we can create a transparent GIF. Now I am using Photoshop CS6, the latest version of the software, um, so it might look a little bit different if you're using an earlier version such as CS4 or CS5. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new document, so I'm going to go up to File New, and just basically I'm going to create a certain size here. Now since I'm working with websites, I'm going to, be work, I'm going to go down here to Web, for a default preset and I can change the size if I want to uh, by default it sets up for like a web page so I don't want it to be 800 pixels um, across um, let's just do 300 by 200 and we're going to keep it 72 pixels per inch because that's a gen general rule of thumb Now this creates a new document, so we're just going to do text here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take my type tool and I'm going to come over and type in uh, by clicking uh, in the area that I want. And what's going to happen here is we're just basically I'm just going to type in the first my first name. I'm just going to transform it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it larger font size and I'm going to go up to edit free transform. I'm going to go to the resizing handles, just make it a little bit larger. And to accept, you have to accept it. We can't do anything else until you accept it, so I'm going to press my under key to accept. Now, just to make it a little bit different, I'm going to apply a style to this. And on your styles panel, uh, over here on the right hand side, you have a list of styles that you can click on. Okay. You also have up under window. Um, where you, I'm sorry, not window styles, but over in styles where the drop down list is, there's a whole list of other styles you can apply as well down here in the list. And when you add that, it's going to add it down here at the bottom. So let me just add uh, this one here. Now you can apply other things to it if you want, that's fine. Now I'm going to hide the background layer, so right now I don't want to see the background. And when you do that, you see a little checkerboard. That's fine um, because that sh indicates that there's transparency around the text itself. And that's the key there. Now, once we have that background hidden, then um, what I want to do here, uh, you can do a couple things, but sometimes you don't want all this extra spacing around here. Um, we can go up to Image and choose Trim. And what we'll do here is we can click on Transparent Pixels and it'll trim away around the both sides so I'll click OK here and notice how it automatically it basically goes to the size of the text so you don't need all that extra space and that's for a website could cause some issues so just using the image trim command will help you out with that so after being trimmed it just takes you to the size of the text that you want now it's the key is to saving it so we're going to do a file save for web now if your earlier version it could be saved for web and devices so now, <clears throat> the dialog box comes up for Save for the Web, and what we want to do is we want to make sure GIF is selected. We want to make sure that transparency is checked because it knows that there's transparency on the page. Okay, And then we also want to make sure as we're working with this that over here on the right where it says Matt, I'm going to choose None. Now, then you can also experiment with some other options like colors and so forth. Um, but again, just the key component here is making sure the transparency is turned on. That's the key part. Okay, and then all you have to do now is click on save, and it'll ask you to give it a name. I'm going to type in mike.gif, and it should say images only. I'll click on save, and then that image needs to go into the same folder as your index page and then you can upload that into your web server and the transparent um, it'll just become a transparent graphic so then the background will show through